Alright, what's going on guys? Drew here from TechCubed, and today we're going to get started working in edit mode. So, so far, all we have worked in is object mode, which you can see down here. So, object mode, so far, allows us to select different objects. We had the lamp, we had the camera, and the default cube. So, what edit mode is going to allow us to do is actually edit, for instance, the cube. There is no edit mode for the camera or the lamp, and you'll see why in a minute. To get started, all you got to do is hit tab after you right-click to select the cube. So, once you hit tab, you're going to see it all selected in a yellowish orange color. You could zoom in and move around and see what it looks like. You could go even closer and you could see little points surrounding the cube. And so what those are are our vertices. So we could actually select those the way we did in object mode. So if you right click one of the points, you see it's the only thing selected, everything else turns gray. So once it's selected, we can move this around. If it's a face, we could rotate it, uh, we could scale it. This is a point, so we can't actually scale it. What we can do is grab it. So hit G to grab, which we used in object mode. And so you could grab it around and move it, and this works for all of them. So now if you were to select two, or three, or four, the way to do that is press and hold shift. So select one of them by right clicking, hit shift, and select as many as you want. And now, let's say I got these two faces selected. We could scale it up. We can rotate it if we want. And that's how you do that. Uh, so we have scaling, rotation, and grabbing. There's actually an easy way to select some points here. So if we go around here to edge select or face select mode. So what we first had was point select mode. So you select one point at a time. If you have edge select, you can select edges by right clicking. But if you have face mode on, you can select faces. And you see these dots and you could select them. And so same thing here, you could scale, we can grab, and we could drag the arrows to move them a little bit easier. And so that is that. So next, after selecting, uh, we have deleting. Uh, so if you want to delete one of these sides to see inside, you select it, and then you hit X, and you have all these options. Um, what we can do here is delete faces, and so that just deletes the face and leaves the edges. If you undo by doing Control Z, you get X and delete vertices, and it basically deletes everything. Um, and uh, so that's basically the majority of the options that you'd be using. Uh, so let's go back to delete faces, and so now you can see inside. Uh, one other thing we could do is extrude. So what deleting does is gets rid of the face. Extruding is going to add another one. So it's not like copying. It's actually going to extend it. So if you hit E to extrude, you can see what happens when you drag out. It's going to pull out the face by adding a new one. And then on the inside, it's a little bit smaller. And it creates all these new faces here, which again, we could all grab around and scale to make any shape we'd like. And we could delete that as well. So that's how this shape works. Uh, but now let's say we wanted to start with a different shape other than a cube. Now there's two ways to do this. You can go in tab out of edit mode and go back in object mode down here. And now you can add, let's say, a sphere. And you could tab into that edit mode and we could change stuff here. Um, or while we're in edit mode, you could actually add new objects here, so the monkey. And so now these are a part of the same object. When you hit tab, you can see it's the exact same one. Okay. So now a couple of the interesting things we could do. In object mode, I'm just going to delete both of these uh, by right-clicking onto the cube and hit delete all with X. And now let's go and add a cylinder. Shift A, add a cylinder. It's not quite centered. I'll just grab it back. Now we could tab in edit mode here. Now we're going to go into loop cuts. Loop cuts allows you to kind of like extruding where it adds faces, but instead it's not going to change the actual shape, just add more vertices. So if you hit Control R, uh, you can see this little purple line show up. Now, depending on where you move it, it's going to show up in different spots, but uh, the one we want is where it shows up, this circle in the middle. Now, we can drag it around wherever we want. I'm just going to place it right in the middle by right-clicking, and it's going to drop it right in the center. Now, you can see we have twice as many vertices and faces as we had before, and it currently put me in edge select mode. Uh, I'm just going to go into point select, and now what we could do here, we could scale it to kind of make a little vase-type shape, now we can do this again, control R, and I'm going to put one up here, I'm going to scale it up, and then we can put another one down here, scale that up, and now we can get different type of shapes like that. Um, and so this would work if you do a loop cut vertically as well, and we could drag it like that, and you could grab this out, obviously it doesn't look too good, uh, but who knows, you may have some need if you maybe want to make a gear or something, um, you could, to make like a gear type shape, you can grab it out like this and you can get some prongs, okay? 
So now that's that. Next, I'd like to do proportional editing. So let's go back in edit mode, and let's add a loop cut, but several loop cuts. So if you hit Control R, and then you scroll up, you can see you get all these extra loop cuts. So if we scroll one, two, three, four, five times, let's say, and then left click, and now we can drag again. I'm going to right click to cancel that. We will get all of these, and we could scale those up. But before we scale that, I just want to select one of these lines. So if you hit A, the A is going to do is deselect everything. So A stands for all, meaning you could hit A to select all or A to deselect all. And so what we could do now is either right click all of these or we can go and push 1 and then 5. So now we're in front view and we lost perspective. Now we can see through it by pushing Z. Okay, now the best way to select all of these would be uh, to hit B. B stands for box. So just like we were right clicking before and selecting, B is box select. So you can, you get this crossbar. So you go where you want to start and then left click and hold and drag to where you want and anything in this box will get selected. And so all that is selected now. There's other ways we could do this. If you hit A to deselect, so when you hit C that stands for circle like B did for box. And you could scroll in and out and get a bigger selector and you could select like this. Just left click and you get as many as you want and when you're done you right click. Okay? Uh, and then there's one last way to select is with alt right click. So if let's say we wanted this line right here we can select this line by holding alt and then right clicking and it's going to select the entire line around it. And it would work vertically if you go like that. Uh, and you could do shift alt to get multiple but all we want is this one right here. And now to go into proportional editing. So, so far, all we've done is move exactly what we've had selected. But sometimes that could get hard, uh, and it's kind of very artistic, hard to get it perfect. So with proportional editing, we can move several at once, even if it's not selected. So if you hit O, you can see down here this little blue dot turned blue before it was gray. Uh, and so you can see O deselects it or selects it. And now when we do anything, when we grab, or when we scale, or when we rotate, you see the circle around here and everything in that circle gets moved slightly, hence proportional. And if you scroll in or out, it's going to affect stuff more or less. So if you just scroll in a little bit, now you can move like that. And you can see it kind of really rounded off the edge and makes it look a bit nicer. And this works with all of them, if you want to make it a little funky like that. And there you go. So you can make basically any shape you want, starting from any of the shapes that it comes from, uh, just using this. Just to overview, some of the most important ones I'd say would be extruding with E. And then you have the normal grabbing, scaling, rotating. We had proportional editing with O, loop cuts with Control R, and then you could drag like that, selecting multiple stuff using Shift, uh, changing edge, point, and face selecting mode, and then hitting Tab to go out of edit and object mode. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.